In this problem, we're given a table and we're asked various questions about the table. It says, does the table show a probability distribution? So in order to make sure that it is a prob probability distribution, you have to make sure that all of the probabilities are actually numbers, and they are, uh, and they're all between 0 and 1, and they are. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to add these up, and you should get 1. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to make sure that it is a probability distribution. So I'm going to add these up, 0 0.033 plus 0.154 plus 0.313 plus 0.3. One, three. So we have to be able to get 1. If we don't get 1, then it's not a probability distribution. It has to be equal to 1. Let's see. Yes, it's exactly 1. So uh, yes, the table shows a probability distribution. See, here you have these other choices uh, in case it's not. You have to pick one of the other choices. So let's click check answer. Good stuff. It says find the mean of the random variable x. So uh, so if it was not a probability distribution, we would have picked this one, right? The table does not show a probability distribution. But it is, so we want um, the actual mean. So to do that, you click on this little box here, okay? And then you left-click, and then you click Open in Stat Crunch, okay? Open in Stat Crunch. So again, little boxes here, Open in Stat Crunch. And it opens everything in Stat Crunch for us, types everything in for us really, really nice. And then you go to Stat calculators, and it's custom. Okay, so stat, calculators, custom. That's the command for the entire section. So for this whole section of homework, stat, calculators, custom. Left click, and then just pick the first thing and pick the second thing. Let me do it again. Stat, calculators, custom. Right, it doesn't have a name. This is not a named probability distribution, so we use custom. It's just a generic one. The values, those are the x's. The weights, those are the probabilities. Then you click Compute. And there's the answers. So uh, there's the mean, and there's the standard deviation. So the mean is 2.5. Standard deviation is 1.12. So 2.5 is the mean. And the standard deviation was 1.1. That's it.